Hi, this is June from Planet June, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to make yarn stems for your crochet flowers, so you can display them in a vase. You can use this technique for any crocheted flower. If you'd like some to practice on, you can find the free patterns for my Planet June basic rose, daffodils, carnations and tulips on my website. To start, you'll need a sturdy base for your stem. You can use bamboo skewers, thin dowel or heavy wire. The stem needs to be stiff enough to support the weight of the flower without drooping and match the size of your flower so it'll be a suitable thickness once it's been wrapped with yarn. Next, you'll need a green yarn in the same weight as you use to crochet your flowers. I use worsted weight yarn for all my crocheted flowers and stems. Tie the yarn in a single knot around the top of the stem. If you're going to push the finished stem up into the flower, you can leave the part that'll be inside the flower bare. Otherwise, tie the knot closer to the end of the stem. Lay the short yarn tail against the stem, pointing down, and begin to wrap the yarn tightly around both the stem and the yarn tail. Once the yarn is well anchored, you can stop wrapping the yarn around the stem. Instead, hold the yarn still and rotate the stem between your fingers to wrap the yarn onto it. You can spin the yarn onto the stem much more quickly this way. If you see any gaps between the wraps of yarn, pause and push them more closely together to make sure the stem is well covered, then start spinning more yarn onto the stem. When you reach the bottom, you can just glue the final wraps of yarn to the base of the stem, or try this method for a neater finish. Lay a yarn needle alongside the stem with the eye below the bottom of the stem, and wrap the last few turns of yarn around both the stem and needle. Don't wrap these too tightly, you'll need to be able to pull the needle through them. It's easier if you have a yarn needle with a narrow eye. Hold the wrapped yarn in place as you cut the yarn and thread the end through the eye of the needle. Then pull the needle carefully up through the wraps. Try rotating the wraps gently between your fingers. One direction will make the wraps looser and the other tighter. Tighten the wraps as much as you can, then pull the yarn tail again so the bottom wrap of yarn is as tight as possible. You can either just snip off the remaining yarn tail now, or add a little white glue to the final wraps for added security first. Let the glue dry, then snip off the yarn tail. Now you have a neat yarn covered stem ready for your crocheted flower. Don't forget to visit planetjune.com for the free patterns for all these crochet flowers.